Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Patrick F. Ryan, Education and Programs here at the Buffalo History Museum, and we're really excited to get started on our new YouTube series, History Untold. Using our new exhibit that you can see all around me, Continuum, a Bicentennial of Erie County, we're going to be going into a little bit more depth on some of the objects and stories that you may not know about. For our first episode today, we're going to be talking about perhaps Buffalo's first true crime murder mystery revolving around the three Thayer brothers. The three Thayer brothers, Nelson, Isaac, and Israel, lived in the small town of Boston, New York, which by early 1820s only had a population of a couple hundred. And to put that in perspective, the entire city of Buffalo only had a couple thousand by this point. So what were the Thayer brothers all about? Well, this group of brothers, they often found them times, let's call it, economically challenged, and were always looking for new ways to make money. One way that the Thayer brothers thought that they could make some extra money on the side was by housing sailors from Lake Erie during the winter months in Nelson's small farmhouse. One such gentleman was an Irish sailor by the name of John Love. John Love was a relatively wealthy man, and the brothers, who had always found themselves on the wrong side of debts, took notice. Running into yet again more money problems, the Thayer brothers decided to ask their house guest for a small loan. John Love, you know, being a good house guest obliged and loaned the brothers $275 with the promise that he would be paid back in full. Now, little did Mr. Love know that he would never see that money again. Now, the Thayer brothers, they had no intention of repaying this debt for Mr. Love. And instead, in December of 1824, they invited him over to Israel Thayer's farmhouse. The plan was simple. Under the guise of butchering livestock, the three brothers were to murder John Love. While talking to Nelson Thayer, the same man that had given him room and board over the winter months, John Love was attacked from behind. Using a firearm through an open window, one of the Thayer brothers, more than likely Isaac, shot him from behind. Much of the chagrin of the three brothers, John Love did not immediately die from his gunshot wounds. To finish the job, Nelson Thayer grabbed a butcher's knife and slashed his house guests numerous times. Now the Thayer brothers, they certainly had quite the problem on their hands. Not only were they debtors, but now they were murderers as well. The brothers took John Love's body and buried it in a shallow ground on their own property. And to no one's surprise, just about a week later, the body was found. During the week while John Love was missing, however, the Thayer brothers, they lived it up. They used his money, they found his clothing and his horses, and were basically riding around town without a care in the world. This all changed for the Thayer brothers very quickly, however, when the story of the murder of John Love became some of the biggest news in Erie County. Now, when you're letting someone stay with you for an extended point of time, and their dead body is found on your property, it probably doesn't take too long for people to connect the dots. The three brothers and their father, Israel Sr., were all charged with murder and had to appear in court. Now, Israel Sr., he was never convicted, but to no one's surprise, his three sons were. Their punishment was death by hanging in what would become Erie County's only public execution. Let's put something into context. In the early 19th century in the United States, going to an execution, well, that was kind of like going to a sporting event. There would be bands, music, people from all over Western New York came to the hanging of the three Thayer brothers. Before a crowd of about 20,000 Western New Yorkers, the Thayer brothers were led towards their death, while the local band played the Death March. Upon reaching the gallows, Sheriff Ray S. Littlefield used this saber to finally send the three Thayer brothers to their death. Now we are in Boston, New York, at the exact site where the John Love murders happened, as marked by the historical marker behind me. Now, today, this site, it's not nearly as spooky as it was in the 1800s. It is now home of the Smith Maple Farm. Now, although the owner declined to interview with us for this video, she did reassure us that both the property and the home are not haunted. In fact, this farm hosts a yearly maple syrup festival that attracts thousands of visitors, not just from Boston, but from the greater Western New York area. Now, although the murder took place on December 15th, it took just over a week for Bostonians led by local farmer F.T. Jones to find John Lowe's body, searching through fields very much like the one behind me.
Today, the Thayer brothers' victim lies behind me, right here, in the Maplewood Cemetery in Boston, New York. Now, without the present-day help of things like TripAdvisor and Airbnb, it's safe to say that John didn't love his stay with the three Thayer brothers. Welcome to Niagara Square, which is the present day site of where the three Thayer brothers were hanged. Now again, picture this with me if you will. 20 to 30,000 Buffalonians all lined up in this very spot to witness the death of three murderers. The local band that was playing the funeral march was soon drowned out by the scores of Buffalonians that had turned up to see what was going to happen to the three Thayer brothers. As the three brothers were being led up to the platform, two Buffalo ministers read them their last rites. Now, behind me, as you might have guessed, it doesn't exactly look like a gallows. Well, the exact area where the three Thayer brothers were hanged, that became Samuel Wilkinson's estate. Now, Wilkinson, if you know anything about Western New York history, he was the one that pushed for the Erie Canal to be built in Buffalo. But you may be wondering, where is that? Well, that site is now Niagara Square in the home of Buffalo City Hall. 